This rotating 3D model shows a single cell similar to the trillions of cells that make up your body. This particular cell came from the pancreas of a mouse and it's used as a biological model to study diabetes in humans. Fading the outer membrane unveils the cell's internal organs called organelles. The round insulin secreting vesicles color coded here in blue dominate the interior. 12,128 of them in total. Fading these blue vesicles reveals a network of mitochondria, color-coded in green, sprawled about the yellow, color-coded nucleus. Scientists and general audiences alike can learn a great deal about biology by comparing internal structural differences between cells harvested from different environments, that is, from different parts of your body or from different life cycle stages. But even comparisons that seem obvious in a single model can deceive, let alone across multiple models. For example, approximately how much of the cell's total volume do you think that this yellow nucleus occupies? About 12%, 26%, or about 39%? How much of the cell's total volume do you think that the green mitochondria occupy? About 7%, 42%, or about 68 percent? Believe it or not, the correct answers are closest to 12 percent for the nucleus and only 7 percent for the mitochondria, much lower than most people infer by glancing directly at these representations of the data. A tool we've developed allows scientists and general audiences alike to compare and contrast multiple descriptive parameters of visually complicated 3D structures, like this cell, at a glance. By organizing the organelles and averaging their volumes, we can represent the cell as a simplified 3D graph that retains qualities of the native model. Here, a viewer gets a gut-level impression of the relative volumes of each of the organelles, far closer to the correct values, but they can still appreciate that this data represents information about a cell rather than something more mathematically abstracted. The same tool enables us to rapidly compare otherwise similar-looking cells. The two cells on the left, collected after glucose stimulation, are smaller and have a different organelle distribution than the two unstimulated cells on the right. This information is much easier to absorb by looking at the simplified cells on the bottom row, rather than by mentally merging the information from the original models in the top row with the quantification information in the pie chart shown in the middle row. After highlighting comparisons with the simplified information, the cell can morph back to its original shape, reminding audiences of the complex interplay of randomness and specific interaction in these structures that enables life to exist.